I don't know what this drink is. It's had loads of ice and then it's just a vibe. So I'm going to be sipping this throughout the Q&A. So I don't know if I'll even include it. Maybe I'll cut these parts out. Maybe I'll just leave it in for the lols. What are you saying, people? Hello, how are you uh, This is kind of weird, man. I have like a mad setup. I have like two lights facing me. I'm in my studio space, bedroom, slash office, slash chill zone, slash whatever you want to call it but it's like the man cave i painted it all black i'm doing this video for a reason and one reason only the main reason is to just stop procrastinating and just start posting on youtube because i feel like i had great success on tiktok because i just don't care what i post it's just like right i have to post today i just post something you hear me and it was like a daily thing and turns out 90% of the time it's quality content that I post but for me I'm like oh if it takes a day to make it's obviously not gonna be quality which is bullshit. Make sure you like before I smash you up I'm gonna give you three seconds three two one like the video like the video Muchas gracias. Now, moving on to the Q&A. But yeah, listen, let's get into these questions. So I obviously asked the IG fam. I've done these so many times where I'm like, yo, send in your questions. And then I end up answering nothing. Two chairs. The past hour I've been filming this Q&A, yeah? And I just realized the audio wasn't even on. It just filmed like 15 minutes and then it cut off. So I'm snapping. I'm just gonna get started with the Q&A from the start. I am snapping, man. Cause now I'm like replying to it and it's like the second time replying to it. So it's, the reaction is not as pure. Cause some of these questions have been dumb. My reactions have been really good. Mariam, my the whole thing wasn't recording, Mariam. Come, come, sit down. Medium also joined me for the q and a it's like she wasn't even part of it so please can you get medium to roast you again <laughs> this is a new one we didn't actually uh, do this we'll do on the q and a then uh, yeah the I'll q and a is rolling okay. give me a roast roast quick oh, there's nothing she can roast me on man come on i'm flawless Bro, there's nothing she can help, get man. me could this could the cameras dead ass right you do the q and a and i'll be no 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 Halas. yeah i gave you time to think about it that's okay. it okay 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 i'll give you yeah. i'll give you what camera do you use i use the a7 III. i use the 70-200 2.8, the 35mm 1.4, and I'm shooting on the 24 2.8, so there you Imagine go. Imagine being 25, living in your mom's house, making nothing it, wrong making with your that. room, putting decor, spending 3k on it, There's and nothing then wrong with that. still not getting married when you're literally gonna leave the house sooner or later. But I'm not trying to get married, I actually built this room for you guys, not actually for me. Because I'm not selfish like that. It just actually shows that I'm actually a nice guy, and I know I'm gonna leave, but I'm just doing it for that. Testing, one, two, three, testing, testing, testing. Right. When did it turn off? Will I end it? Will no, I end the Q&A? Bro, I've been going on for like, this is like my second time filming the Q&A, man. I'm just wrecked at this point. I've done like three hours of talking, I swear to God. The first one was at least an hour and a half. And then I just realized, because no one was there to monitor the camera from behind. Many just came now to monitor. I just realized I was just talking to myself the whole time. Right, I'm going to keep going. Biggest fear, to die with a lot of regret. Getting into the grave. And just hitting that Arabi Rijiun one. Oof. Lali Ahmanu Sali Hamfima Tarakt. Kella in a Kalimatun Huaka Iluha Mimura in Barzahun Ida Yum Yuathun. Oof. You're just crying to be brought back. You're lowered into your grave. Obviously, I believe in the afterlife for the non Muslims here. I believe there's a creator. I believe there's a greater purpose. I believe that it's not just you're going to die and then that's that. And this is heaven. This is not heaven for me. This is just a journey. This life is literally... Right, I'm out there switching out the batteries. My mic turned off again. I just didn't realize it. And then memory card got full as well. It is what it is. So we're after switching out the batteries. We're going through some technical difficulties, man. It's like, we're not trying to get this video out or something. Favorite movie, Interstellar. Sick, man. If you haven't watched Interstellar, probably my favorite thing is the soundtrack in it as well next level visuals the cinematography you know matthew mcconaughey with the acting of oh, that scene when he like spends too much time on this planet comes back and then he, he's like backlogged 20 years on tape oh and you just it's like one shot for like a straight two minutes and you can just see his reaction to the tape and just his acting is just phenomenal man so Interstellar, definitely. And there's so many different like small details that we're fine in terms of like cinematography, the soundtrack and just all that kind of stuff. So yeah, definitely Interstellar. Check that out. I've watched it many, many times. Many is my camera still on? Please tell me it's still on because I'm going to cry if it's yeah, not. It's still... it's still... 
This has literally been my 10th time doing this Q&A. I filmed it multiple times. I don't care. Whatever. Technical difficulties have happened. This time, nothing's going to go wrong. We're going to make sure of it. Let's behind the camera. She's monitoring. My dad's here just chilling. Well, well, uh, pop your head in for a second. I'm not chilling. I'm consulting. You're consulting. Okay, pop your head in for a second. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Listen, this is... My dad's the consultant. And this is my... Third cup of coffee for the day. Um, yeah, let's crack on with the questions. You are Muslim? Question mark. Yes, yeah. Am I Muslim? Yeah. Read the last thing you wrote on your notepad. Do you have anything in your bucket list that you want to complete? Do I have anything on my bucket list? Probably to pray in Masjid Al Aqsa. Do you have anything in your bucket list, Baba? Yeah, a lot. A lot. My dad has a lot. I I probably just have that one thing, man. Favorite place you've traveled to? You can't really choose a place. That's why I don't like this question, yeah? Let's say, for example, I go to Turkey. I visit Istanbul in summer or I visit it in winter. Completely different experiences. If I visit Istanbul, Asian side, European side, completely different experiences. Even then, if I was in within the European side, if I was in Taksim Square, if I, were, I was in Sultan Ahmed, completely different experiences. So, it's hard for me to be like, yeah, this place was sick, that place was sick, just because I, you know... If you've been to a place once or twice, you can't really judge. One thing you would wish for, I would wish for this being my first cup of coffee for the day. I'm telling you, yeah. I'm a coffee fanatic. Me and my dad, we hook up our morning coffees together. Yeah. My dad knows how I want it made. But that first morning coffee, it hits different. Sometimes I go to sleep and I'm excited about my morning coffee. So one thing I would wish for is for this cup of coffee to just reverse to be like my first cup of coffee instead of my third cup of coffee. But... It is what it is. It's like any. Um, kissy, kissy. <laughs> it's Bob, isn't it? Or he's just half. Which camera do you use? I use the A7 III. How old are you? 25. Do you like curly hair? I hate it. I get so annoyed. Um, to be honest, I used to straighten my hair back in the days. Because I was insecure about this curly hair. But now I don't care, man. I don't even look after my hair. Someone's asking for a skincare routine, hair care routine. I don't have none of that. Are you looking for a relationship? Am I looking for a relationship, Bubba? No, we believe in marriage. Marriage, baby! <laughs> no. Permanent bond. Permanent bond. But uh, what do you think? How many wives, Bubba? I think I can hook up the two, three wives situation. I think I can manage. Yeah, just <laughs> My sister I left behind just giving me the dirtiest look. It's a joke. Do you want to live in Turkey? I would actually, yeah, that's a place that I would consider living and moving there 100%. Which camera uh, you started with? Any advice? A5100 and every single day, daily. You need to be doing it on the daily. You need to be filming every single day, shooting every single day, and that's how you get good consistency. How do you become half of Again, consistency, doing it every single day. Um, I think that's actually a more of a complex question as well because especially if you're going to sit down and do hours and hours of Quran, you need to have a pure heart, you know, like you actually do. And if you can't sit down and listen to Quran for such a long time, and that's why, honestly, this is one of the main reasons why I'm struggling right now because... My heart's not as pure as it was when I was like 9 and 10 learning the Quran. I would sit down for 12 hours a day, no problem doing it. Um, but yeah, purify your heart and then be consistent. What's the most important thing you've learned about Islam? I don't know, man. That's just, that's such a like, people write books on that kind of stuff. Uh, do you use presets? Yeah, I have my own presets that I've like made. So then whenever I'm lazy or I don't want to like edit, I just quick things just click on one of the presets how do you define yourself in one word that's actually hard for me to kind of say so i what would you say i'd say in one word i'm just cool man cool what would you say the honest truth. yeah honest truth go disorganized disorganized Ella thinks i'm disorganized i agree 100 percent. would you in any way marry an african if you're painting why not at what age are you planning on getting married? Oh my god, these are all marriage questions. Ale's like turning her eyes every single time a marriage question comes up because she gets the DMs all the time. Um, I don't know, man. Probably 28, so three years from now. So no pressure to find the one. Tips for getting into filming. Do it every day. Favorite food? Macaron Nigeria. Pasta. But the Libyan way. Do you know that kind of way? If you know, you know that. Bukupka. You know what they call it? Bukupka. Because the bubbles. Buk, 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 buk. 
That's when you know it's right. Things that stress you out. Alas, is there anything that stresses me out? I don't think flights. Flights. I don't think so because if they did stress me out, I'd come early and I'm like always like nonchalant and nearly missing them. Probably get stressed for like a minute just before reaching the airport and then like I'm cool. I but think like, the most stressed I've seen you was when you applied for the American visa. And you had that meeting. Yeah, I wanted that visa so bad, man. I was supposed to go to the Conor, May, uh, Conor McGregor Mayweather fight on a private jet, everything. And then, yeah, that just didn't happen. Just because I couldn't get the American visa, man. Snapping. Pricks. You know what? I can't wait when Trump bounces, man. Maybe I could go to America again. Yeah, I actually was stressed about that. But then, other than that, you just never see me stressed. I'm never stressed. I think that's the most stressed I've seen. Yeah, but... I, and I wasn't even that stressed compared to like people who are actually get stressed. You get me? I was, but I, you know what? I don't think it's a good thing though. I feel like you do need a bit of stress in your life. I feel like sometimes a bit I'm a bit too nonchalant, and that's something I think I get from my dad. Man, he's just too chilled. What's one advice that you would give to young generation today, mate? Am I like fifty five or something? Like I'm twenty five. I'm trying to figure out myself. How old are you? Twenty five. Three things that you value most in a person. Loyalty, honesty, and ambition. I like an ambition, uh, ambitious person. Pet peeves, I don't have any. Probably no. Someone playing around and touching my equipment. I hate that. That's That would be my pet peeve. Um, Thoughts on underage marriage. But, but what are your thoughts on underage marriage? What's underage? Yeah, exactly. Goals what's you want definition? to accomplish. Yeah, what's the definition? It's like... They're probably talking about 18. But like, listen, if you're ready for a boyfriend-girlfriend boy relationship, you probably... Then why not? Like, it depends on the maturity of the person. Like, uh, that question... the boyfriend-girlfriend thing. Settle your career. Have focus on something. And then think of marriage. That's Ella's opinion. For me, probably <laughs> depends. Every single person, that's like a subjective thing. Yeah, yeah, that's true. 100%. And give man more maturity, actually. 100%. Um, we, I know that firsthand. Not from my own experience, but like, you know, seeing other people mature just by when they get married. Biggest obstacle you faced? I don't deepen, man. I don't think about the obstacles I've faced. I feel like, you know, people that are like, oh my God, I faced so many obstacles and I got over this and I got over that. Life is good, man. I've, you know, I've... And as well, marriage, it's completing okay, your so half of your deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's talking That's about the marriage. Right, Bubba, we moved on, like, with the question. Yeah, completing half your deal, 100%. Um, do you want to add anything onto the marriage thing while we're at it? Inshallah, inshallah, all the single sis, girls and boys, they get married. Inshallah, and they be ha happy. Including me. Inshallah, happy. I get married to a painting. Inshallah, I have a wife for you. <laughs> nah, mate. You know what he suggested? He suggested for me to marry my cousin, man. You can't put that in. He's trying to ship me off to my cousin, man. That's the last thing I'm going to do. No, that is the last thing I'm going to do. I'm trying to, you know, diversify the genetic pool. I'm trying to get, you know, something from a different ethnicity altogether. No, Boisir Genetics you know? is not bad, that's it. Come on, look at this guy, man. Boisir Genetics. Nah, <laughs> oh, mate, stop. Sweet home, Alabama. <laughs> Do you bite your ice cream slash frozen yogurt? That's a very unique question. Um, it depends. If I'm in a calorific deficit and I'm starving, then I'll probably bite into my ice cream, yeah? If, you know, but if I'm chilled out and having it as dessert, then I'll, you know, just have it like a normal human being. Um, <laughs> what got you into videography? What got me into videography? YouTube. You're a lunatic dead. Yeah, pretty much. But you started taking my camera first. Yeah, no, but actually, to be honest, it started off young. It started off like, listen, Thanks to this man over here, my dad, we've had like the first Macintosh in the house. I knew how to use a Macintosh before I know knew how to use people Windows. Don't know what and people is. don't know what Macintosh is because that's what it used to be called, and now they call it Mac. They abbreviate it. So yeah, like I've always been around cameras, 
you know, editing softwares, this, that, the other. And then, obviously, it came to a point when I started doing the YouTube that I nurtured that kind of skill. And I that's when people I started calling me first, talented, when it's not really. I, I just think, edited I think every single day. first Macintosh in the early 90s. Mad. When people, they don't know about yeah, when people yeah, didn't even... IBook. That's crazy, man. Yeah, we had even the... Yeah, the iBook. That was the laptop one, isn't it? That's crazy, iBook. Some people are not even old enough watching this. They're like, that was out even before their birthday, man. We, like, had four versions of the iBook. Like, every new version. Yeah, and the PowerBook as well. Remember the PowerBook the G5? And then we got the MacBook Air when yeah. it first came out. Yeah, yeah, the MacBook Air. We had that. Yeah, we had, MacBook like, yeah, yeah. So, that was handy. And your, then we always had an iMac. Do your time. parents ever mention marriage? What do you say and how do you respond? Do you ever mention marriage? Yeah, he wants to get me, get me married to my cousin. I just say, nah, mate. I'm married whoever I want to get married to. What's the worst video you filmed and why is it so bad? Probably my first vlog, which I think is still on. Maybe I, I put it on private. That was really bad, but that was just me learning, you know? So obviously you're not going to be great from the get-go. What's an ayah or a quote that has a big impact on how you view the world or how you live, etc.? Um, it depends, man. It depends. Uh, you should tell them about Muhammad Dun, your first agent. Oh, uh, Muhammad Dundun. Dundun, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dun, but I might be going to him in London, so I can film. Maybe I can film something with him, anyways. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we'll leave that for another. We'll leave that. We'll leave that for another segment. You know what I We'll leave it for another segment. Um. I like him. But yeah, Dundon was my first client, man. So we're, he's going to, obviously, he's one of my best friends, man. He's a Don. I love him. So back to the question. What's an AR he's quote? An architect. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> right. So Caesar just tried to come in. Caesar, out. Caesar just interrupted me and my dad just kicked him out. Right. What was he saying? Yeah. Favorite yeah, my favorite AR. So like, let's say for when I'm traveling. Yeah. When I'm traveling and I'm like moving around and stuff like that and I'm reflecting upon like the stars and the moon because you're by yourself and you're in your own thoughts and once you unravel all the kind of your own personal struggles, you know, and you unknot everything, then you begin to like look outward into the universe and contemplate life and do all that kind of stuff. I think about like, let's say for example, an ayah of Prophet Ibrahim would come and the moon comes up and he goes, this is my Lord. And then disappeared. He's like, I don't like things that disappear. And then when the sun came up, so he's seen the sun come up and he goes, this is my Lord, this is bigger. And then that disappeared as well. You realize God has to be a constant. He's always there. He can't just be coming and disappearing. So the aura of Prophet Muhammad he used to be contemplating Hira. So just different ayat come in different situations. Like right now, off the top of my head, something that is really impactful and I think about a lot is وَقَالُوا مَا لَنَا لَا نَرَى رِجَالًا كُنَّا نَعُدُّهُمْ مِنَ الْأَشْرَارِ أَتَّخَذْنَاهُمْ سِخْرِيًّا أَمْ زَاغَتْ عَنْهُمُ الْأَبْصَارِ إِنَّ ذَلِكَ حَقٌّ تَخَاصُمُ أَهْلِ النَّارِ Surah Sad. You know, that's a powerful ayah. And it's like the people of Hellfire, when they come in and they're looking around for the people who they thought were the evildoers or the wrongdoers and they can't find them. And they're like, where are these people that we used to classify as the bad people, as the evildoers. It turns out they were the evildoers and it just kind of reflects upon society nowadays. And that's a powerful, powerful A and it just kind of makes you reflect on your life, on your situation. It's just like, am I part of these people? Anyways, on to the next question. That got a bit deep. I have an archive, alhamdulillah. So it just depends on whatever situation. I'm in, my subconscious will just give me the air for me to like reflect upon and I'm not saying like I'm a good person and stuff like that, I'm far from it. But that's why for me man, if I have kids, I'm going to make them learn the Quran at a young age and obviously learn it with understanding. So then when they grow up, they have the foundation, that Quran's not going anywhere. And when they start doing these things, like let's say just doing a madness, the Quran will always come up and they always like kind of reflect on it and think, damn, I'm really a piece of shit. What's a general diet and fitness tip? Um, Ella, how long have I not trained? A year. A year. So I'm skinny as hell right now. So I can't be giving fitness advice, but how long have I been training as well? Since you were 15. Since I was 15, so nine years I've been training. So maybe I could give a bit of advice. And you did the course. Yeah, and I have a personal training certificate as well, so I'm 
technically qualified to give you advice. Yeah, if you want to be in a cal calorific surplus, then you're going to gain weight. If you're going to be in a calorific deficit, then you're going to lose weight. These are just the basics, fundamentals. You want to change your composition, your body, you're going to have to weigh out your food and track your calories and macros, obviously. How fast do you get comfortable around pe new people? I feel like I get comfortable so fast. Yeah, it's a busier thing, man. And that's just my genetics, man. I just feel it's not even the way I was raised or whatever. I'm just really good with just getting comfortable around people, getting to know them. Also, just having a decent amount of empathy in terms of understanding what people are going through, understanding their story, their perspective, listening to people. They'll just kind of warm up to you and, you know, you get on really well. Uh, how do you get confident? That's a good question. And I do not know the answer to that because honestly, from young, you know, I say it's a nature nurture thing. My parents were gassing us. Like, my brother Ismail's nickname, what's Ismail's nickname? It's Abqarino. So, Ismail's nickname is Abqarino, which is genius. So, my dad's calling Ismail and goes, Hey, Abqarino, come here. Abqarino, Abqarino. So, you're calling a kid a genius at the age of seven, eight, nine, ten. While his brain is developing, he's going to be so confident in his computing abilities that he's just gonna feel like he's a genius man and Ismail does carry himself like he's smarter than everyone just because isn't it true though when you feel confident about yourself in that way that's it like it will manifest itself it doesn't mean he's full of himself he's just confident and that's what he's been told from young he knows he can accomplish anything bro I feel like your brain will physically develop into becoming smarter mom, mom, baba had a and they said, I won't make it to college. Yeah. My mom and Baba straight away moved me to school. Yeah. So that's a, actually a good one. So, um, Ala was classified mentally and physically retarded when she was not physically. <laughs> mentally retarded by her teachers. Second... Uh, Saying I was dyslexic. Like, yeah, I was diagnosed with my dyslexia. Yeah, she was, she, so she has dyslexia. And they were telling her, like, this girl's going to go nowhere, blah, 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 this and that. And, like, I, we just want to tell you the truth. My parents straight away, they're like, okay, nice one. Change school. And now Ali has like a master's degree and I have nothing to show for it. So, you know, that's power right there. But my parents also gassed me up so much to the point where they're like, you don't need a degree, mate. You are up there <laughs> with Mark Zuckerberg and Steve Jobs. You can just drop out and you're just going to be rich. No, they, they, they actually don't want me to, to drop out. But like my dad, 100%, Baba believes in me so much, doesn't he? My dad believes in me so much. Even oh, my mum. Yeah, my mum believes in me as well. But obviously, they, they like that kind of certificate. My dad actually doesn't care as much. But my mum, like, really... Because her, her whole family is about getting that degree and, you know, hanging it up and wearing that cape and throwing it up in the air. Um, But yeah, so... And I also feel like it's a genetic thing in terms of confidence. Because if you look at, let's say, my dad's side. Holy shit, man. Like, they are ballsy to the next level. There, you know, my my dad's uncle was like foreign minister of Libya. So you go all around Benghazi, which is where my dad's from, and there's just areas literally named after you know my dad's uncle. So they're all they're out there, they're outgoing, they're known, they're you know they're public figures. And then also my mum's side, like my grandfather was like just this charismatic businessman who's just a don. From such a young age. Has a big platform changed you? And has a big platform changed me? No, you're still the same. I'm still the same. I yeah. just think you're... You're more outgoing before, but you're less outgoing in Ireland now. What you mean? I'm more outgoing before? That's because I had more friends. Yeah, no, you don't. Yeah, I've, I had loads of friends back in the days and I used to always be out and about. Now I'm just like... In Ireland anyways, I'm just keeping to myself, just doing my thing. Just because, man, you just sometimes when you need to focus, you need to cut out the noise, and I cut out a lot of people. But uh, I'm the same, pretty much. It's just that I've grown up, you know. Um, I've started doing YouTube five years ago. Now, I'm not big on YouTube, but I'm big on TikTok. So there must be random people coming on, um, coming on the recommended or whatever, and being like, "Mate, you're not even big. You have like five thousand subscribers. You're bleeding." My joke. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, TikTok. Instagram, you know yourself, my man's famous. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm not even. I'm just aggressively known. Would you rather know when you'll die or how you'll die? I don't want to know when I'll die. And I don't want to know how I'll die. You just want to die 
Monte Sharifa. Yeah, exactly. You just want to die with integrity, man. But yeah, I just want to know if I'm going to die like a don or not. That's it. Like, I just want someone to be like, you're going to you're gonna die in such a sick way. I'll be like, yeah, right, cool. I'm happy with that. That's all I want to know. I don't, I don't want to know how I die or when I will die. Can you cook? Ella, can I cook? Whenever you're in the mood. Yeah, whenever I'm in the mood. Yeah, I'm a little chef. My mom says I have a bit of dhok. So she says I have that, you know. She was like, listen, you can either cook or not because sometimes... You need that kind of, she says nefes. Yeah, it's a, it's like a breath. I don't know how to translate that, but if you know, you know. Do you get me? It's that. Even my dad knows how to cook. <laughs> That's bullshit. <laughs> oh my God, he's the biggest martaz, man. He will literally just oh, whip up some madness. And then, he, bro, he'll be putting it into lunch boxes. He'll be sending it around and being like, you know, I give this to Richard. He thinks I'm a good chef. And I'm like, yo, this guy's cutting lips up a chef. And I'm like, yeah, bro. He has these cheese salads and fruit salads and just, he does if a madness. Taste buds are gone, you'll like them. Yeah, it's an acquired taste. And to be honest, I feel like I've acquired the taste for it. And I realized that it's an acquired taste when other people will come and then he'll give it to them. I'm munching on it. I'll have it for breakfast. Like, let's say his cheese salad. Yeah, I'll, I'll just do it. I'll just get me get into it. Other people will come and they'll just sniff it and they're like, what's your favorite childhood memory? How much do we remember? When we were happy. I'm still happy, man, but we're happy back in the days as well. The Quran, we were reciting it from day and night. Some days, man, the one month camps I missed, and they're probably the highlight of my childhood. Even though at the time it was rough, like doing 12 hours a day and. But the sense of brotherhood and community and the buzz you had where everyone was sick, man, I miss that. And I'm sure everyone, everyone that has ever done these, like, little getaways, man, honestly, they will tell you. Honestly, the most thing I miss is the sense of community. Sense of community, I yeah. Lost that now. Yeah, I feel like Ireland, the sense of community is just gone, man. It's just killed off. The Muslim community, man, it used to be, it used to be strong. It used to be, it used to be solid. We used to always like come together and for for events and stuff like that, and now it's kind of a bit, it's a bit dead, man. Has Corona affected your life? Yeah, it's affected everyone. May Allah bless you and your family. May Allah bless you too. Advice for getting into videography: You have a phone, film every single day. Do it. Five lessons you've learned from traveling. Oh man, that's a video in itself, man. How are you? Someone's asking me, how am I? I'm 100% fresh. I'm good. Are you always this positive or do you not show us everything? Allah. Let's say he's the optimistic guy in the house. Allah says, I'm the optimistic guy in the house. Yeah, I'm positive like 99% of the time. And listen, I'm grateful, man, to be alive. I'm grateful to be privileged enough to have a roof on top of my head. I'm grateful to be born in Ireland where, you know, you know, all my rights are are there, even though at times my rights are challenged, but it is what it is. We move, you know, there's other people in the world that are going through a lot of trials and tribulations that I don't have to go through. Um, so, yeah, man, I'm happy most of the time. I'm positive. I'm just grateful, man. You know what? It's always good to have perspective and it's hard to have perspective at times of negativity. But whenever you feel negative, whenever you feel down, just take a second. Go for a walk and just think about the blessings you have. Just count them out. And if you try to count the blessings of Allah, you cannot count it. It's impossible. You know, just your eyesight, your health, your this, your that. It's crazy. So, yeah, man, I'm optimistic as well. Sometimes a bit too optimistic in terms of like, you know, setting goals and stuff like that. Someone just asks right there. I'm looking through it. What are your goals? I don't like to share goals. I feel like when you share goals... You feel like you've already accomplished them. You already get that hit of dopamine. You're just like, yes, I accomplished it. And they're like, no way. You actually want to do that with your life? Man, that's awesome. And you're like, yeah, like, yeah. And you sit back 
and you're already buzzed off it. You already feel like you've done it when you haven't done shit. So that's why I don't share your goals, man. Just keep it a secret and just work towards it. And when you accomplish it, people will see. They'll know. Shall I end the q and I feel like it's been long enough already. Like you've already done there's, so ma- there's still so many more questions. But yeah, I'll just... Yeah, that's it. Right. Thank you for joining me. Make sure you've seen how many takes this has taken. The audio has messed up so many times. Now I have LA like fully monitoring the audio 100%. So hopefully I don't have any problems in the editing room. So gassed I'm just finished this. Thank you for joining me. Today's Tuesday. Is it Tuesday? Tuesday the 27th of October. And I'm going to post this Tuesday the 27th of October. I don't care. I'm going to get this out there. Um, Like I said, thank you for joining me. And make sure to like. Please, please, please help me with your engagement. Um, Like the video. Make sure you're subscribed if you're new and if you enjoyed this Q&A. And let me know what you want to see more of. I'm always up for a bit of constructive criticism. Let me know if this Q&A was a bit shit. I feel like I should have had more people on here to just bounce off. But it is what it is. Um, And yeah. Make sure you like before I smash you up. I'm going to give you three seconds. Three, two, one. Like the video. Like the video. Muchas gracias. Now, moving on to the q and I'm just going to use that in the beginning of the video. Just to, you know, get the engagement up. Right. See you later. Nice one. Subhanak Allah. Muhammadik. Ashadu an la ilaha anna. Tastaghfiruka wa tubi ilaik. Ciao ya kakao. I need to find a production. I told you about the production. Oh, uh, thanks a lot. The production course. My eyes blind. These lights blinded me. Why are you not using the battery? Ana! Start recording now. Oh, you didn't. Oh. I didn't press. Oh, thank God. Oh, my God. I could nearly die.